Congressman, what is your message of hope to everyone who's living currently under the CCP's regime? I think that the message that we can send back to everybody watching this that is still unable to have the same freedoms you guys have here in your headquarters and in the, in the bastion of freedom, right? This is America. So what I can say is that hope, don't give up, don't back down, keep fighting. And, and remember, live every day after another because there's always a brighter tomorrow. Be thankful for what you have and be, fo be hopeful for what you can achieve. Organize, stay focused, don't risk yourselves. Make sure that every move you make is calculated, smart and intelligent, so that you're not exposing yourself. And the day will come where the whole world will come to rescue you, and we will free you. Even if it's the last thing I do as a member of Congress, we will work together to free everybody from this oppression, everybody from the CCP, and we will bring down uh, President Xi, and we will hold him accountable for his wow. crime against humanity and all the crimes he has committed as the quote-unquote president of China that nobody voted for. Wow. 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 啊，所以这位国会议员啊先生，他回到呃回答新中国联邦秘书长常老哥的问题，呃，就是给我们现在所有看直播的体制内的以及墙内的所有新中国联邦人，还有支持我们新中国联邦的中国人，热爱自由和法治的中国人，他也想说两句，就是说你们不要放弃，不要停止，不要停止你们的抗争。同时呢，因为你们生活在这个最邪恶的中共的这个统治下，你们不要暴露自己身份，你们要保护好你们自己，你们不要对未来失去啊、呃、信心，不要对明天失去啊、呃、希望，因为他说要珍惜你们。现在有的，然后要憧憬明天更好的。他说：“我们没有不会忘记你们，我们会来帮助十四亿人，我们会来解救你们，我们会帮助中国人、新中国联邦人消灭邪恶的共产党。我们要把习近平推下台，他不是。”中国的主席没有人去选举他，我们要来帮助十四亿人获得自由，我们来解救你们，我们要推翻邪恶的中国共产党，我们要把习近平绳之以法。谢谢。